Oh, China, you're so wonderful, bringing us crappy LCD-based games, this time with a knockoff of Angry Birds, that bird-flicking game that's sweeping the world. And well, it looks like a PSP. Cool. I'm sure this is going to be great, he says sarcastically. Yes, this is my kind of action ripoff. I found this today, and I thought, what the hell? I will make an homage to the great Ashens by reviewing the P PSP, PSP Onling, whatever the hell an Onling is, Angry Birds knockoff, which in Korea cost 8,000 won, or uh, around $7 US. It's like a really crappy, cheap PSP. And look, you can even see the instructions down there. Let's look at, uh, well, we have a beautiful model number here. Apparently this is the AX688 model. Da, da, da. Some Chinese characters, have no idea what they say. Really horribly uh, photoshopped image of a bird. It may look better on the camera than it does in real life, as it just looks like a blurry bird with angry birds on some kind of uh, catapult shooting at your face. Oh no! Uh, really cheap, cut your finger part, probably packaging. Let's look at the back of this thing. We have more Chinese writing. Yay! Some angry birds sitting in some kind of hammock with balloons attached to them with eggs. I have no idea what that has to do with angry birds, but yeah, interesting little picture. Ah, direction right on the back. Of course, you use the directional pad to move stuff. And this looks like an Angry Bird cartoon. <laughs> A and B button. Apparently all four buttons are the same thing. We've got reset sound, SP. Uh, I don't know what SP is. I guess we'll find out. On and off. Here's a little warning here. No sad onion, sadly, but a triangle with an exclamation point saying warning. Joking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. Or as Ashens would say, anyone. Oh, better keep this information for further reference. In case I accidentally give it to some three-year-old. Nice little barcode. <coughs> the pig. Red bird. Alright, let's crack this uh, cheap Chinese knockoff open. and uh, So, this is going to be really horrible. See how it plays. Okay, here's the best Englishy for the Angry Birds instructions. After entering in the game for each level, you will have fixed chance times to shoot. Within the chance times, shoot and save all small pigs. What the? I thought you were supposed to kill the fucking pigs. The fuck? Anyway, uh, you will pass this level and enter in next level. If the chance times are used up, while well, not all small pigs are saved, the saving is failed, and this level shall be continued. Ooh, save one pig, get 20 points. Strike down one cage without pig, get 10 points. When passing each level, the remaining of each bird will be awarded for 15 points. And there we have again, game, start music, pass music, fail music. Dun dun dun. On the back you see some crappy speaker holes for the speaker, uh, where the PSP logo would be. On the PSP you've got some kind of res recessed molded ring. And quality control passed, which I doubt. Whoever number three is should cry. And uh, this particular model takes two AAA batteries. Let's turn this bad boy on and see how she plays. Push the off button. <laughs> so it gives you a little preview of the uh, gameplay and also plays the annoying Angry Birds music. It's actually not that bad, the music. Considering the fact that 
the real Angry Birds game music is pretty annoying anyway. Let's uh, let's let's have a game and see how this plays. Start. Where do we start this thing? Uh, where's the start button? There is no start button. Start, maybe? Okay. SP is start. So you have your angry bird there. And... Ah, yes, I can see it's changing. I don't, hopefully you can see on here, on the video. It is changing. Oh, that music is really annoying now. It does it the whole time. So it looks like there's only one pig to destroy, so let's try to destroy it this way. Uh, maybe push this button. And... I got the first bird. Yay, 20 points. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get the bird. I got two pigs to destroy now. Let's try this method. Okay. One is not doesn't seem to be as many positions as the real Angry Birds, but uh, you know, it's just a cheap knockoff Chinese Angry Birds. What the hell? Let's give it a try. <laughs> I got one. What? Didn't that hit? I could have swore that hit. just disappeared before it hit it. What? Let's try another. Well, that one... Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so... That one that should have hit it didn't because it was too low. Let's try killing this pig. Oh, sorry. Let's try saving this pig by hitting it with a frickin' bird. That always saves a pig. So instead of killing the pigs, I guess the point of this is to break them out of jail. So it really wouldn't be a good idea to call it angry birds. I guess unless the birds are really pissed off that the pigs are in jail. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you should call it uh, birds that are angry because their pig buddies are in prison. I don't know. It's a blatant ripoff, of course, of Angry Birds, but instead of killing the birds, you're saving them. So I assume that's... Oh, I see, yes. It is one of those, like, pop station devices. So... Yes, it's a PSP pop station with Angry Birds, and uh, apparently if you pay more money than $8, $7 US, you will get the uh, the other cartridge, which is the Plants vs. Zombies, but mine only has Angry Birds, which is good enough for me. Just to do this silly review. In homage to the great Ashens. I can never do it as well. For one thing, I do not have his quirky British accent. And for another, you know, once there is an Ashens, you don't need another one. Let's compare this with a real PSP, just because. So that just snaps in a really cheap plastic. Let's turn it off so the annoying preview doesn't play. Uh, very cheap plastic, very pretty lightweight. Let's bring out a real PSP and take a look. So there we have it. Angry Birds for the Chinese knockoff pop station. Whoa! Put that thing completely over turning it off. <laughs> and what's nice about the PSP version, of course, you can angle a little bit better and it's uh, more fun, more challenging. Ooh. Ah, that's that. But yeah, this is a PSP, of course, with Angry Birds compared to a pop station. Uh, yeah, they are similar in uh, shape here. 
And uh, of course, this is really cheap thin plastic. This is a uh, high quality Sony product. Hope you get the gist of it. Which would you rather buy for your children? A licensed game or a Chinese knockoff?